Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday the 11th. I look a little bit rough around the edges. Who cares? It is Veterans Day. So, my friends, if you have a family member or you yourself are a veteran, I just want to say thank you so much for your service. And I hope that you have a very peaceful day. And I hope that, you know... <laughs> I don't even have words, so I hope that it is a lovely day for you as you remember your loved ones if they are already um, gone. So uh, you saw the little blurb, my dad's name was Wilbur Glenn Kirchhoff, 1941 to 1967, U.S. Marine Corps Recon Marine. And it has been 58 years since he has passed away. And I just want to say that he is well loved by his only daughter and some other family members. So I wish you all the best for today. And I wish we lived in a time where our men and women were not having to put themselves at risk. And that's all I'm going to say. And, um, all right. So, I just fed Grandma breakfast. She had leftover sausage, a hash brown, and a scrambled egg, and a Trader Joe's yogurt. I'll have a picture right there. My husband is right here. He's eating the rest of the sausages for breakfast. Honey, are you having bread or anything, cheese to go with that? No, just bread. Bread and sausages. I am only having coffee, but I did open up my cranberry juice. So, shall we? I don't know. I'm pretty excited. Here we go. Mmm. I think it's perfect. It is the tiniest bit tart, but it's an enjoyable tart. It's not so tart. I want to, you know, okay. So I like it, which is nice because I think I have six quarts. I think in my last video, I wrote down that I had seven one must have been imaginary because I only have six, <laughs> six quarts. She lies a little. All right. So today I've got a number of things on my plate. I'm going to try to left over some of the things that are in my refrigerator. There are a couple things I'd like to actually cook this week, but I just don't want to cook them when I've got a heavy load of leftovers. So we'll see. This is real life. I don't doctor it up. I don't try to make it fancy for you guys. It is what it is. What you see is what you get. And this is, you know, this is what's left of my hair. I used to have the most beautiful, fabulous, thick hair. And now, old age, <laughs> son of a bitch, <laughs> uh, has taken its toll on my hair. And that's probably the thing I hate the most about uh, the aging that my body is going through. However, what's the alternative? <laughs> I'm happy to be 61 and a little bit on the bald side rather than not 61 at all. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys later this morning. Ta-ta. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, November the 12th. I live in Washington State, and it is gray and cold. And I think it's going to rain, but I don't know. It'll rain from now until, you know, late July. <laughs> All right. My name is Deanna. Of course, you guys know that because you're already watching this video. 
Let's look and see what grandma's gonna get for breakfast this morning. My husband and I had coffee. I don't know if we'll eat before, you know, noon, I don't know. If we do, Addie will feed himself whatever he wants and I will, if I eat, probably just have a piece of toast. But grandma is a different story. So let's look down here and I'll show you what we're doing for grandma. So right here, I've got some of my homemade cranberry juice, and um, this cranberry juice is so good, you guys. Oh my God, it's one of my favorite things that I canned uh, this year. And then I've got some homemade apple juice, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of that to the cranberry, and it looks like a tiny amount, but grandma doesn't drink a lot in the morning. So just a little bit of juice right there. Right here, you can see her fabulous, nutritious Kellogg's Donut Holes cereal right there. And right here, she has a slice of cheese toast with avocado on it. So she is going to have this for breakfast. These are some of her favorite things. She loves junky cereal and she loves avocado toast with cheese. So she's sitting right there. Grandma, do you want to say hello? Hi. There she is. What you doing this morning, pumpkin? I'm looking outside at the birds and a great big squirrel and stuff. <laughs> her um, chicken George is out and he comes and sits on the other side of the sliding glass door and spends time with grandma. I can see him right now. He's on the deck and grandma's sitting right there. So let me feed her and we'll get on about our day. I know this week has got to be so boring for you guys because honestly, I'm just trying to get through the leftovers before I cook anything because, you know, I don't want stuff to go to waste and I don't feel like cooking a big meal of something else when I've got, you know, four or five servings of leftovers in the refrigerator. So we will see, okay? Um, Addie and I are getting ready to go away on our four days of, <laughs> it's respite care for grandma, <laughs> it's respite care for us, and um, I'll need to cook and pack for us because we like to take our own food. So there might be something exciting, I don't know. We just don't know. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Ta-ta. All right, everybody, it is Tuesday, late afternoon. It's almost five o'clock, I think, and I just finished cooking dinner, and everybody has a plate that looks like mine. So let's look down here, okay? So I don't know if you can see as well as I would like you to, but I have green salad with tomatoes. The, the lettuce was from the food bank, the tomatoes are ours. With ranch dressing, that's mine. A little bit of cheese, this is mine, and the pistachios are mine. The baked potatoes I got at the food bank, salt and pepper are mine, butter is mine, sour cream is mine, cheese is mine. This fish is from the food bank, the eggs that I used to coat it with were mine, flour was mine, salt and pepper were mine. So grandma, what have you tasted so far? Yum! What have you bitten into already? Potato? Yeah, I've ate one of those. I'm, I'm, I'm counting on everything that's coming up. All right. Uh, I don't think Addie's taken a bite of anything yet, so I will take a bite for you, and we will see how everything is. Okay, let's start with the fish. Oh, and I've got tartar sauce that was in my kitchen, so that is also mine. Okay. This fish is perch. There's my bite. Let's see what we think. Hmm. That's good. Nice and crispy on the outside, flaky on the inside, nicely seasoned. Very good. Okay, a little bite of potato. 
right there. Butter, sour cream, a little bit of mm. cheese. Mmm. I love the baked potato. And a little bit of salad. Mm hmm I was going to add a can of green beans, but this plate already looked pretty full, so we are not going to do that tonight. I think everybody is um, ready for something that's not a leftover, though I do have two more servings of the pesto and pasta that I made a night ago, or two nights, I don't remember. The rest of my leftovers, a couple of the containers of the chicken enchilada soup, they needed to go out to the chickens uh, this morning. So, you know, I don't really feel horribly bad about that because it gives my chickens yummy food, table food that they love, and then they give me the most beautiful eggs. So this will complete part two. Now, part three will be Thursday and Friday, and um, we'll see, okay? All right, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye. Wow. Okay, everybody. It is Wednesday night. It is eight o'clock and I'm just now getting a chance to touch base. So let's briefly talk about the day because I don't have a lot of video to back it up. So for breakfast, grandma had, I think I do have a picture of her breakfast. I'm not sure, but she had cereal and a cup of yogurt and she had coffee I ate about noon, I had toast, and I am unaware <laughs> of what my husband ate during the day. Oh, wait, he made some hummus, and his hummus is the best. And so later in the afternoon, I ate hummus and Arabic bread. Grandma didn't eat any hummus, but she had some toast later in the day. Uh, the cereal... And the yogurt and the toast were all food bank items. Everything that Addie used to make the hummus was his, except for one jar of garbanzo beans. When I say his, I mean ours. We either paid for it or we already had it. It wasn't a food bank item except for one jar of garbanzo beans. Now, <laughs> oh, it's been crazy. I may discuss some of the crazy in a later video, but not today. So we still have two servings of our pesto pasta, and that is so yummy. We like to eat it with the chicken patty fried on top and some tomatoes, and I have those things. So I've got two meals here. This could be lunch or dinner for anybody tomorrow. Addie and I are going out of town on Friday. It's our four days. And I'm going to pack all of our food with us. And we are having leftover spaghetti that I made today. Mm, it was so good. We all ate a bowl of spaghetti. I was going to make a salad and we said, no, that's too healthy. We just ate the pasta. So this is going to go on the trip with us for the weekend. And then I have this spaghetti right here. And right now... My family is eating spaghetti faster than I can cook it. So as long as they want spaghetti, I will make spaghetti once a week and we'll eat through it whenever we feel like it. So that is the, ouch, that's hot. <laughs> that is hot. Um, I also canned some turkey broth. Can you see that? Isn't that beautiful? I went out to my freezer to grab something, and there in the door was a package. I pulled it out and looked at it. It was a turkey carcass from I don't know how far back. And I said to myself, girl, let's go make some stock. So that's what we did. Anyway, I have four quarts of it right here cooling, and I think that's it. My kitchen is relatively clean. Let's take a look. There we go. Uh, you probably see the scraps on the pan right there. That's the leftovers from um, when I made stock. So it's got the 
the bones, some carrots, some celery, some onions, whatever I threw in there. Chickens are going to get that tomorrow morning. So I think that brings us up to date for part two. Part three will cover Thursday and Friday and it'll be a little bit skimpy on Friday because Addie and I are hoping to be on our way um, I don't know somewhere between 8 and 10 a.m. just know that on Friday or Saturday or Sunday we're eating spaghetti okay all right next time I do this hopefully I'll do it in a week where it's a little more fun for you to see what I did and how I did it you guys are fantastic. I hope that you're having a good day, and I will see you in part three. All right, ta-ta.